Hi, I'm Dr. Joe Murphy. Welcome to Newport Mesa Wellness here in the Back Bay of Newport Beach, California. I'm the clinic director of Newport Mesa Wellness, and today we're sharing an incredible success story, a 35-year journey of Lyme disease with my patient, Parrish. And Parrish came to me um, about two years ago, and we got a diagnosis of Lyme disease finally. And we put on one of my programs, and the program basically is gonna be, um, it's the Rife machine that's made, um, her frequencies and her program is made just for her. She sleeps with it eight to nine hours a night, and she's had tremendous success. But we want to go back and talk about what happened when you first got bit, or when you first thought you got bit when you. So were I was in um, my second year in college. I was around 19, and so my boyfriend and I, at the time, used to uh, hike a lot. And I was always one of those kids that had to hike, so I we'd be out hiking, and I think we were in. Palm Springs uh, hiking and when I come home I was sick and I thought I had I didn't know what I had so I went to the doctor and they misdiagnosed me with mono right. so but this is the early 1980s this is 1984 right. This is, right. So, so, so this is 1980, and she gets misdiagnosed, which is very, very common. Yeah. Um, you know, and some of the diagnoses that you had have been absolutely crazy. <laughs> Rubella. I mean, yeah, she, you know, German <laughs> yeah. measles. Um, you know, uh, Epstein Barr. Um, yeah. You know, mm -hmm. all the all the ones that are absolutely like not it, but yeah. and that's um, missed it by yeah. that. Yeah. So what were some of the treatments that you had over the course of the last 35 years? What some of the treatments that you so that you had to endure? Besides all the 10, 10 years total of counseling? Yeah. yeah. A lot of the doctors would tell me I needed, um, but I'm sure many of you Lyme patients might know this, that we get told we're crazy, so we'd be in and out. I've been in and out of counseling. Yeah. 10 years. That's what, that is so so crazy that a lot of my patients um, and most of my yeah. patients that come in here have already spent eighty to hundred thousand dollars on treatments with other doctors and they've been told they need to be on psych meds or antidepressants or psychotropics yeah. or whatever and and they a lot of them unfortunately went on them because they believed the doctors back then yep. and 20 25 years ago fibromyalgia if you had fibromyalgia you're a kook yeah. I mean you're just absolutely crazy and that was my scenario I was yeah. told I had fibromyalgia I was told I was mentally off and I they gave me medications that made me worse they gave me psychotropics that made me worse they misdiagnosed me with narcolepsy that literally almost killed me just to take the medication yeah. for that those yeah. are those are really brutal meds. Yeah. And so some of the some of the symptoms that you had, you had some really severe shooting pains. Yes. Uh, electrical symptoms. I call them electric flashes. Yeah. that would shoot through my whole body. Right. Um, I found out it was what uh, Bartonella or the. Yeah, Bartonella. Yeah, yeah. Bartonella. Yeah, Bartonella does that. Yeah. Um, and then I so I started rifing that. Yeah. Was totally de dedicated to that. Yeah. So her treatment using the rife machine at night, it's eight to nine hours. The frequency kills the outer surface membrane of the um, Borrelia and the Bartonella and the Babesia, the Ehrlichia, the, um, uh, any of the co-infections, the mycoplasms, mm -hmm. and they'll get destroyed inside the body, but the body has to detox them out. And one of the really important things that Parrish did, she was always doing detox protocols. I was, she was yes. in the sauna, or she was doing foot baths, or she's, you know, eating the right binders. The, Taking coffee enemas. Right, co and coffee enemas. Coffee enemas, huge, yeah. huge, uh, very important. And I didn't like him for making me do that. <laughs> but I'm telling you what, you're down the road, yeah. I'm clean. You know, I, yeah. par I was parasitic. Filled with parasites, probably because of the lime. Oh yeah, and yeah. Uh, that almost killed me right. that in itself. And we and as most do. as most of you Lymeys know, the um, the Borrelia, it will suppress the immune system and it will shut down the ability for the immune system to basically go after most things. So yeah. it's like basically a. Someone's stealing your car, this crazy driver stealing your car and picking up a bunch of hitchhikers that you don't want and then running into everything it can and wrecking your car. And so th your car's been hijacked and you have this crazy guy driving it and that's that's the Lyme, that's the Borrelia. And in, in the back seat is all your co-infections, mm -hmm. all, the, all the crazies, right? So right. Then that's what it does. It's, then they it's, want to jump up front and take over. Yes, and so that's what it does. So it allows the parasites and it pushes things like Epstein-Barr. Yeah. Now this is where the Epstein-Barr becomes a real issue. 
the Klebsiella pneumoniae, the, the um, cytomegalovirus, all these things that you normally wouldn't get, that your body just right. kicks its butt, right? right? Now you're, you're immunosuppressant, right? right. So one of the things with the parasites that really becomes an issue is that you know your, your body just is f f flailing and mm -hmm. trying to trying to do something and it can't. And once we start knocking out the lime, your immune system starts naturally coming up. It's like having a having our foot on your throat and you can't breathe. And I take the foot off, and all of a sudden you can breathe and you start getting stronger. Yeah, and that's what the Lyme used to do. Yeah. It, and I, I not have that problem anymore. It used to take my breath away. So I would always be hunger for 35 hungry years. For 35 years she was sick before she came in here. Yeah. All right. And within 18 months, within 18 months, she's doing incredible. She's 90% better. Yeah. All right. Now, if you want to have those type of results, if you've been sick this long, I mean, well, if you've been sick this long, it's absolutely crazy. I mean, yeah. it's you, you're lucky to be alive. But if you've been sick anything longer than two years, okay, don't do the antibiotics anymore. They don't work. They're not going to work. I don't care what they tell you. They're just going to take your money. It's not going to work. Yeah, you okay. need to be in here doing uh, this program. It's all natural. There's no drugs. It's It, it will change your life. This Parish. has been, I was going to say, this has been the best investment of my life. So Parrish has been sick for a long time, and now she's better, all right? These are the results that you can get. If you've been sick longer than two years, with the Lyme diagnosis or you've had Lyme symptoms longer than two years, the antibiotics are, have a very, very low percentage of working, okay? All the, uh, all the different treatments out there, I see hundreds and talk to hundreds and hundreds of patients a year and they all have failed at this and they don't know what to do. So Parrish is a great example, all right, of how our program works and how she jumped into the deep end of the pool. That's what I call it, jumping into the deep end of the pool. We don't try, we do here, okay? Parrish, if you can say something to, to the people out there, what would you tell them? Even if you haven't been diagnosed, this is the doctor to help you be diagnosed. I would do, if you have these symptoms that I've talked about, and the, that he's discussed, that we've talked about, I highly recommend you at least get in here and get tested. Um, if it's negative, you know, you know, you got to, he will help you figure out what to do from there. It's been the best invite and best investment in my life. And you know, and you're living, and you got your life back, yeah, and that's like huge. That. She has a life back. I want to thank you. you. You're absolutely incredible for coming in here and doing this tonight. Um, you know, it's it's not easy. Parish flew all the way from North Carolina, Atlanta, excuse me, um, to to come in here to do this for us because she knows how important it is to share her story. Um, we're Newport Mesa Wellness. We're located in the back bay of Newport Beach. It's uh, NewportMesaWellness.com. My cell phone. I'll give you my cell phone. You can call me anytime. It's it's 949-292-2775. This is Parrish's story. It's the real deal. It's raw. It's unbelievable. All right. Thank you. All right.